The Story of the Giant Turnip Once upon a time, there was an old man. He lived with his wife, their grandson, a little brown dog, a tiny white cat, and a sweet pink-nosed mouse in a grand old farmhouse. One day, the man told his wife, Dear wife, I am going to plant a turnip seed. When it grows good and big, we will have delicious turnip soup. He took the seed and planted it in a patch of healthy brown soil. Each and every day he watered it. When the lightning and thunder came, the raindrops danced over it. And when the sun shined, the sunbeams dazzled and kept it warm. Grow big, my little seed, the old man would say every day. Then, one day, two little shoots popped out and grew bigger and bigger with each passing day. One fine day, the man knew it was time. Dear wife, tonight we shall eat turnip soup, he said, and he put a big pot of water on to boil. He went into the garden and, reaching down, took hold of the shoots, and he began to pull. And he pulled, and he pulled, and he pulled, but the turnip stuck fast. He called to his wife. Dear wife, would you please come and help me pull the turnip? He asked. So wife held on to husband, and he held on to the shoots, and together they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, but the turnip stuck fast. She called to their dearest grandson. Dear grandson, would you come and help us pull the turnip? So the grandson held on to grandma, who held on to grandpa, who held on to the shoots, and they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, but still the turnip stuck fast. So the grandson called the little brown dog, and he held on to the grandson, who held on to grandma, who held on to grandpa, who held on to the shoots, and they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, but the turnip stuck fast. So the little brown dog called to the tiny white cat, and she held on to the little brown dog, who held on to the grandson, who held on to grandma, who held on to grandpa, who held on to the shoots, and they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, but the turnip stuck fast. So the tiny white cat called to the sweet pink-nosed mouse, and he held on to the tiny white cat, who held on to the little brown dog, who held on to the grandson, who held on to grandma, who held on to grandpa, who held on to the shoots, and they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, and the turnip fell on top of Grandpa, who fell on top of Grandma, who fell on top of her grandson, who fell on top of the little brown dog, who fell on top of the tiny white cat, who almost nearly squashed the sweet pink-nosed mouse. It was a giant turnip. Grandpa stood up and dusted himself off, and then each one helped the other get up. Then Grandpa carried the turnip into the kitchen, where he chopped it all up, chop, chop, choppity chop, into small pieces. He added some herbs and some spices, a little of this and a little of that, and soon enough the turnip soup was ready. All of them, Grandpa and Grandma, Grandson and the little brown dog, the tiny cat, and of course the sweet pink nosed mouse sat down to eat the turnip soup. And it was just as delicious as they expected. The end.